Hey, what's up guys? John from Magic Tech Review. So I got the LG Fortune here and we're going to go ahead and take a look at some tips and tricks on this uh, wonderful phone here. Leave a like if you enjoy and love my content and you want to see more. Leave a comment of what kind of tips and tricks you have found on any phone like LG or any kind of phone that you have that you might want to share. And also, watch the end of the video because I have a little special... Uh, thingy at the end at each and every one of my videos now, so just watch it to the end You won't be, de be disappointed. Peace out guys So here is the LG fortune guys and as you know some of you you know You're gonna use the back power button obviously. It's not a fingerprint sensor. So yes, it does look like a fingerprint sensor It is not a fingerprint sensor indeed um, so you hit the back button, turn the power on, right? Obviously, but a quick way to turn on your phone is going to be just double tap. So a lot of you guys uh, know LG has that double tap feature. Some of you might not, so that's going to be a tip for you guys. So just double tap, and it's kind of a rhythm thing, so it's not like, you know, you got to actually do it deliberately twice. So in rapid succession, so boom. So it's not like tap tap so alright so on to the second thing that I kind of found out or fiddled about with when you're when you're first get the phone you're gonna see it like this it's gonna be and this is for people that might be getting this phone later on and the home screen right there you can select your home screen so you can select it easy home is gonna make it so everything is pretty much easier to do you can add this is very good if you have somebody that's a little bit older or maybe even younger and you got your weather right there your clock all the apps right there you can add you can keep adding apps right here and then you can actually add contacts like mommy daddy you know son daughter teacher police fire uh, so it's good for a kid you know what I'm saying you can just put it all right here for them so they can call whenever they need to call logs contacts dial number makes it really easy guys it's easy home so definitely take advantage of this uh, if you have somebody that's older younger whatnot so let's go to the home screen again and let's go put it back to the home app and drawers. All right. So if you want to switch your wallpaper really fast or a widget, you can actually just hold this real quick. And now you have access to widgets and wallpapers. Obviously, there are other, other ways to do this. No live wallpapers installed. Okay. So there we go with the widgets. These widgets are awesome that I've noticed. They've been coming with some pretty cool ones. Now let me show you how to make the phone a little bit faster, significantly faster in my opinion. Uh, this one I always do to all my phones. You're going to go to About Phone, go down to Software Info, and we do have 6.1.0.1 on there, or 6.0.1. You hit tap on the build number, build number. It says you are three steps away, you are two steps away, you are one step away. You are now a developer, so then you're going to back out of this, and then you have developer options, and here we go, they're going to go scroll all the way down to animation scale, you're going to take this, turn this to off, off, boom, so now the phone just zips along uh, without some of those animations that you were watching so uh, definitely cool thing there alrighty so let's take a look hide show apps so you can actually hide or show different applications let's say you know you got some snoopy kids or some snoopy uh, spouse alright so to hide show apps like I said 
in case you got uh, somebody that's snooping around or whatever the case may be um, you can hide show apps from the screen show large icons don't know what that is see larger icons on the screen huh okay I like that I like that so I, I'd actually do that you know what I'm saying uh, view apps so let's see we can view apps by download a date custom okay I like that edit uninstall apps so you can uninstall apps right from the home right from the app drawer that's nice too edit uh, okay home screen settings I think we already did that but let's take a look oh it takes you right to the home screen settings instead of having to go through all the way so very interesting there and then shot show hide apps so let's say you don't want somebody to have access to your camera or your gallery then you can just hit the check mark there and then those apps are now hidden from view can't even access them or use them so to bring them back you just go to hide show apps again and then you uncheck them so and apparently they'll be on the back bam now they are back and good to go so uh, if you need to send in your phone for repair or maybe you know or not that but you know maybe you need a customer representative to check out your phone and you just don't want anybody in your gallery even inadvertently um, then there you go that's one way to do that so I guess that's about it guys uh, for the tips and tricks you can actually uninstall stuff right from the app drawer looks like that's pretty cool right there um, you can draw of course and you can edit you got your flashlight so put a flashlight up there nice color inversion do not disturb battery saver brightness volume so you can make your pull down menu you can actually lower volume lower and raise volume there Wi-Fi capture plus so you can scribble away scribble away so definitely this phone's got a nice little set of hidden features and functions just like LG's always pack into their phones just uh, love that about LG's actually so I do like that that they do pack a lot of stuff in here ringtone ID let's you create a unique ringtone for each call based on the phone number they are calling you from so there you are display bold text Ooh, this is nice okay so yeah it makes it look like so you can read it better nice yeah this yeah this phone's got a lot of stuff packed in so definitely LG's packing a lot of stuff on their UI so uh, my next phone might be an LG alright guys thank you for watching this is John from Magic Tech Review don't forget to like the video share the video comment something and yeah peace out guys Thank you for ending reaching the end of the video the end slate and this video has been brought to you by munchies when you just can't get that craving out the way you need some munchies flaming hot but anyways thank you guys for reaching the end of the video as always and I'm gonna have a little end slate like this at all the end of my regular videos and thank you for uh, Kirshner tech reviews and more and Saints gaming 15 thank you guys and I'm glad that I had the chance to unblock you finally. Alright, peace out guys.